My name is Dory Clark and I have a Master of Theological Studies which I got in 1999 and right now I am a marketing strategy consultant and the author of a book called Reinventing You, Define Your Brand, Imagine Your Future which uh, came out from Harvard Business Review Press. But I've done a lot of things since Divinity School including working as a journalist, a presidential campaign spokesperson, a nonprofit executive director and a documentary filmmaker so it's been an eclectic path. When I graduated from Smith College in 1997, I was really interested in politics and advocacy. And at the time, uh, the Christian Coalition and the Promise Keepers, you know, the, the general sort of religious right was really powerful and ascendant in American politics. And I realized that I didn't fully understand where they were coming from or what the historical basis was for, uh, for their philosophies and I thought that if I was going to engage politically and be effective as an advocate that I should understand that better. And so I came to HDS uh, partly because I was, you know, I had been a philosophy major and I was really interested in broad uh, existential questions but also at a very applicable level um, I wanted to understand the political dynamics that were shaping our country. So when I was at HDS, I was a Christianity and culture concentrator. So essentially, uh, most of the classes that I took were about the history and sociology of American religion. And I, I thought that that was fabulous. I mean, now I can understand and articulate a lot better, uh, you know, where the denominations come from and what they think and how they're different. When I was at the Div School, my tentative goal for myself was I wanted to have a career in academia and I wasn't sure that I wanted to stay in religion. I, I thought that what would be really great would be to study English literature and maybe uh, have some kind of a concentration in, in religion and, and where those two things intersected. But part of what actually began my professional trajectory which has led to me writing this book Reinventing You about, uh, about how one can reinvent oneself is that that didn't work out for me. I, uh, I didn't really fully understand I suppose how doctoral programs were different than undergraduate programs and the things that seem to be prized uh, for undergraduates like diversity of experience and being a renaissance person are not so cool in the doctoral world and so I got turned down everywhere that I applied and I had to come up with a different plan and so I got a couple of internships lined up uh, one at the Massachusetts State House one with Boston Magazine right after I graduated and those were really good in terms of creating uh, professional contacts and kind of getting me started on a career path. And so they actually led fairly directly into jobs in journalism and politics. But um, I really needed to reevaluate. And I think a lot of us find ourselves at that place where you have a scenario that you've planned out for yourself and it doesn't work. So you really need to learn to improvise in this economy. So I finally got hired uh, to be a journalist and I was thrilled. That was a great job and it's something that I probably would have kept as a lifetime career for myself if the economy hadn't changed so profoundly. I was hired in 2000 and as it happened, uh, between 2000 and 2010, nearly 40% of journalists nationwide lost their jobs because of changes wrought by the internet. So a year into my tenure as a staff reporter at the Boston Phoenix, I got laid off. And so I was a freelance writer for a while and I kept thinking and hoping that I could get hired on somewhere else. And the Boston Globe was interested, but they had a hiring freeze. And you know, ultimately I came to understand that it was part of an overall industry-wide trend and so I needed to come up with something. And I had an opportunity because I had been covering politics. Um, a gentleman reached out to me who's affiliated with the Robert Reich for Governor campaign and so the former US Labor Secretary. And so I signed on and became his press secretary and that started me on a track working in politics. And uh, so I, I went with that and I probably would have still continued to go with that except my candidates kept losing. I worked on the gubernatorial race, I worked on Howard Dean's presidential race where I was the New Hampshire communications director and you know that didn't work out as planned either. So I came back to Boston and for two years was the executive director of the Massachusetts Bicycle Coalition which is a statewide uh, bicycling advocacy group. So that was great because it taught me a couple of things. One is it gave me professional contacts that sort of spanned the environmental, the transportation, the public health realms. The other thing that it did was that it essentially taught me how to run a business and uh, I hadn't necessarily been counting on that knowledge but it 
came to me and I realized, oh, wait a minute, I can do this for myself. And so seven years ago, I launched my own consulting business and have been doing it ever since. And so these days I advise corporations on marketing strategy and I also teach at several business schools and blog frequently for Forbes and the Harvard Business Review and have my new book, Reinventing You.